Hi again. What we're going to do now is uh, configure <clears throat> the connect. We're going to install and configure Flask Mongo Engine and our connection to the MongoDB to the database. So what I've taken, what I've done is I've taken the liberty, <coughs> excuse me, of defining in Heroku uh, the review app. We have a database instance called um, Safe Havens uh, Rev App. In staging on Heroku, it's called Safe Havens Staging. The production is called uh, Safe Havens Prod. And then my local environment is called Safe Havens Dev. So what happens is Bongo Engine will create each one of those instances. And the good thing is by having separate instances is that we can muck about and fail and run riot on our own database without ruining anybody else's instances. So it's just a clear delineation between the environments. Which is, which is a good way of working. So what I've done already, is I've, I've run pip call flask mongo engine. That's what we need to do. So it's already done. And then flask, yes, install that. And then do a, a pip freeze to requirements of text. So I've already done that to update the requirements file. And what this means is, just to make clear that, if we look at the requirements, it has added DNS Python. So we use that to do the name resolution to the MongoDB instance in the cloud. Email validator, which we can use. Flask Mongo Engine. Flask VTF, which are forms. So think uh, in Django, we have database models, we have forms, we have views, and URLs. So the forms uh, are Similar to that. RDNA Mongo Engine, which we're using. PyMongo, which is used by Mongo Engine, which in turn is used by Flask Mongo Engine. And then we have VT forms. So that's good. That's updated. What we've also done is I've taken the liberty of using an existing config.py file. And this is where all the configurations for Flask and the Flask extensions uh, exist. So a few imports that are needed. Uh, the same import then to be able to read the, my local .env file. Uh, on Heroku, we'll use whatever configuration variables we're using. That's fine. Then I, we've created a class, a, a config class. This has all the configurations. So for example, the Flask settings, the secret key that it gets from the local .env file. I've also added that to our heroic environments. The MongoDB, so the URI. So this Mongo underscore URI uh, consists of the whole URL to the MongoDB instance with username, password, and the database instance, as well as a few additional parameters. And this, is, this is really, and this is all we need to do. We don't need to do anything on MongoDB. It takes care of all itself. These other settings we won't look at just yet. Uh, they are just there. They are going to be looked at when, when we install the Flask underscore user extension. Okay? So we'll go through that. But you can see that they all get variables or some of the variables from a dotting in the file. Now, if we look at the applet pi, what's been changed? Well, we have, because we installed the Mongo engine, we want to ins import Flask underscore Mongo engine. We also want to install the config class from our config.py file. So from config here, this file here, that one there, we are importing config class. And we have config class here. Very simple. Um, and then, after the app equals Flask, we say to configure this class, or sorry, this app, this Flask app, we're using app.config.from underscore object name.config class. So use the configurations that are here for this application. And everything else is the same. Now, what will happen is if when we do Python 3 app.py, around the server, it will connect to the database instance. 
if we fail to do that, then we it will fail to run this run server. Hey, it works. And obviously, we still just get the same message saying this is the minimum viable file complication with a few extras. So that's good. What we know now know is we have a minimal minimum viable Flask application and our connection to the MongoDB is working, which is really good. So I am now going to risk it by going to MongoDB and I'm going to see, let me log in, and log in with Google. Choose my account. And we should then be able to select the collections. Okay, it's loading. It was slowly. So we we'll also look at the collections. And we can see that it should, but hasn't added safe havens yet. Okay. So it's connected, but hasn't created the database instance yet because I haven't created a collection. Okay. That's fine. At least we know that the connection works. Okay. So we will see changes in this in a moment. At least now we know that that works. So I'm going to do Control-C, and I'll see you again in a moment.